guys and welcome back to Behind the Kabuki. I am here to talk to you today about the age-old question, how to get your kids to eat more food. Well, how to get your kids to eat more nutritional food. So I had a daughter who basically wouldn't eat anything not just you know it would fruit and vegetables were like pfft, as if she's gonna eat those she won't even eat water <laughs> she wouldn't eat anything and it was super annoying and it used to freak me out because um, she lived off her, her milk um, and I would you know go crazy trying to figure out recipe upon recipe about what to feed this child so I am not by any means saying that I am a, the master mum or some specially gifted woman who has all these amazing motherly qualities but I'm just wanting to share with you some of my tips because I know that I had a fussy eater and some of these actually worked. So the first thing I did when uh, my daughter wouldn't started eating and wouldn't eat anything was I got onto increment. Increment is a vitamin which you can purchase at the chemist or at like chemist warehouse or at the drugstore um, and it's a multivitamin because and you put it in their bottle and it gives them all their vitamins. Obviously she wasn't eating much so therefore she needed some sort of supplement uh, to, to you know give her the vitamins and minerals that she needed. So I put increment in her bottle and it also helps increase their appetite. I found this actually worked. So once the increment worked and she started to increase her appetite a bit, I then did something which not a lot of people do um, who have fussy eaters purely because you're just trying to stuff their face full of food and every time, every time, every time, <laughs> every time they want to eat, you're like, yeah, 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 eat this and eat that and you know, so I would always, my daughter very quickly became a snack eater because I would always be happy to give her whatever she wanted because she wouldn't eat anything. So what I did was I stopped all the snack food. So purely gave her breakfast, lunch and dinner so that in between she would then get hungry. You know, you give, I would give her all this snack food like cheese and yogurt and um, a biscuit or whatever it is that she wanted because I just wanted her to eat, right? Um, and then would wonder why she wasn't hungry for lunch. Well, she already had a small little appetite and then would end up just grazing and being a little grazer. And so, um, yeah, no snack food. Build their appetite so that they're really hungry for dinner. I asked my naturopath and, you know, I said, my daughter's not eating. I don't know what to give her. And he actually suggested try giving her canned fruit and vegetables. He said most kids with dip, of some sort of dip, like a hummus dip or even tomato sauce. Lots of kids love dipping things into into tomato sauce they love eating with their hands and I was a bit concerned because I was like canned fruit and veg like is that gonna like what's that gonna do and he made a very good point he said kids love eating with their hands they love little bits and pieces and if she's a grazer she'll enjoy sort of picking things and you know had to be creative it was annoying because in my head I was like just eat the food already <laughs> just eat the food um but I you know would get yellow corn and then orange carrot and then pink beetroot and build a rainbow of this you know colored canned vegetable and he did say to me he goes don't you'll be surprised canned vegetables and fruit still maintain a lot of nutrients and vitamins because they've been like packed very quickly into the can as opposed to them sitting into your in your fridge for a long amount of time they lose a lot of that nutrients because they just sit there for ages and you don't use them because your kids won't eat them so um that really helped I also would then chop up broccoli and carrots and stuff like that in the shape of stars and love hearts. I know, a little bit crazy. And then got like cookie cutters and would cut um, cold meats and cheese and a whole bunch of other stuff and make shapes out of it. Because I'm crazy. I know, like, I don't know. This is just what worked for me because at this stage I was willing to try anything to make my daughter eat. Um, and then I would come up with little antipasto platters, not like real, like grown up antipasto with like prosciutto and brie cheese, um, because 
kids won't eat that. But like little kid version antipasto platters, so a little bit of this and a little bit of that and some corn and um, chickpeas. I discovered she liked chickpeas because I was like opening up all these cans of food. <laughs> and so I do a little bit of chickpeas and then some cherry tomatoes and I would give them fun names like cherry tomatoes would be bursties and chickpeas would be chickadees. Um, and um, broccoli would be baby trees for the dinosaurs to eat and you know I would say that carrot has magical powers which makes your hair curly and all this stuff that I <laughs> lie and feed to my kid to make her eat vegetables <laughs> but it actually worked I just want to let you know that every kid is different there is hope for these fussy eaters my son is a machine he just smashes food he um he loves, loves, loves to eat everything and anything in sight. Hey, he's not like my daughter. My daughter was super duper fussy, as I've said. And now she is amazing. You know, her her um, her taste buds changed and now she just eats whatever I, I put in front of her and it's really good. She's now six years old and she still does try to pull little numbers on me. You know, she'll come to the table and be like, mm, I don't really like that. And I try to be as non-sarcastic as possible in my approach to that because I can be a little bit like well too bad <laughs> um, so I'll be like oh well you know that's okay you don't have to eat it now you can maybe think about eating it later and I'll always glad wrap it up and put it away uh, for her to eat literally eat later but she needs to know and she does know now that there are no you know milk and biscuits later on or cheese later on you are not getting anything till you eat your dinner so she'll come up to me and say mom i'm hungry and i'll be like that's okay well there's your food in the glad wrap you can now eat that and so you sometimes just have to really put your foot down with kids and you know lay down the ground rules and try not to get too frustrated but for me personally i refused to cook different meals for every person in the house i was like this is what i'm cooking you're gonna eat it. I know it's good food. I'm not cooking forcing sardines down your throat or mussels or Brussels sprouts or something that most kids don't like. This is good. This is like, you know, chops with mashed potato and beans. Like it's not that bad. You know, this is good food. Bangers and mash. Every kid loves that. Why aren't you eating it? <laughs> Next, check out my video on how to secretly disguise vegetables in food. Is this little mix that I basically blend up of whatever I can find in my fridge that I know would come together very um, tastily, tasty, tastily. That is a word that I have invented. <laughs> that would come up very tastily in food. And um, I basically blend it up and disguise it in chicken mince. It's very, very easy. My kids love it. All this kid food with hidden vegetables in it. Awesome. Check out that next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if it was helpful in any way. Or if you have any stories or suggestions of how you got your kids to eat more food or eat vegetables and fruit. I would love to hear about them. And until uh, next time, i see you all next time. <laughs> Bye!